United States Navy presents the Eddie Duchin Show. Music for your listening pleasure. Transcribed by the magic fingers of radio, Eddie Duchin and his orchestra. And as our special guest, Maxine Sullivan. Today we salute the civil engineers of the United States Navy, master builders in peace and war. Whether an emergency airstrip on a tiny coral island, a sprawling Navy base at San Diego, a modern hospital in Maryland, a massive floating dry dock at Guam, Navy engineers design and build them all, and build them well. Fresh from heroic wartime tasks, the Navy's Civil Engineer Corps today turns its professional skill toward building a better world for peace. We get underway with Eddie Duchin and Sweet Sue. Tell me, Eddie, you were aboard a destroyer at Okinawa and Iwo Jima. What about those CB stories we've all heard? Those fellows sound like supermen. Ken, the CBs worked wonders in the Pacific. Once a foothold was established on an island, they came in and built roads, airstrips, hangars. In other words, it would have been pretty tough going without their help. Just about impossible. Without their bulldozers, our planes and guns and tanks wouldn't have meant a hoot. That's the truth of it. Men, the CBs were a vital force in our naval power. If you're a skilled construction man, join your hometown CB Reserve. Work and associate with the finest craftsmen in your community. You'll get additional training in your field from instructors who know their stuff. What's more, you'll be paid while you're training. It's a rare opportunity. For full information, drop a card to CB's, Washington 25, D.C. Eddie Duchin salutes the CB's with three old favorites. Thank you. 
Mr. Eddy. Uh, yes, Ken. Order the decks washed down and dress the ship. Our guest is here. Maxine Sullivan. Hello, Eddie. Hello, Ken. Hi, Maxine. Uh, welcome aboard, Maxine. Thank you, Eddie. Say, the skipper's bridge is all yours, Maxine. Any orders? Just let there be music. Such as? How about our old friend Molly Malone? <laughs> Thank you, Maxine Sullivan. This is Ken Roberts again, and you know, it's a recognized fact that no single private engineering company handles as many different design and construction assignments as the Navy Civil Engineer Corps. As a Navy Civil Engineer, you develop broad professional experience. You learn techniques that equip you to handle any engineering problem anywhere in the world. And being an officer in the United States Navy, you're not only well paid, but you enjoy the many privileges and benefits of a naval officer. Each year, a limited number of young engineering school graduates receive commissions as naval civil engineers and begin satisfying careers that cover everything from laying a sidewalk to designing a 20-story building. If you're between 21 and 30 with a college degree in engineering, you can qualify for this same opportunity. Visit your nearest Navy recruiting station or write Bureau of Naval Personnel, Washington 25, D.C. Keyboard, and it's Eddie Duchin in a George Gershwin special. His own arrangement of Embraceable You. Thank you. 
And so we close our musical tribute to America's master builders, the Navy Civil Engineers, and the famous CVs. Thanks to Maxine Sullivan, and of course to our skipper, Eddie Duchin, who says... Navy engineers and the CVs paved the way to victory for us in the Pacific. Get in and help them build a strong, well-constructed, peaceful world. The best way is the Navy way. Join a CV reserve unit or become a Navy civil engineering officer. Thanks for listening. And be sure to listen in again for the Eddie Duchin Show, presented and transcribed by the United States Navy.